Thanks everyone for tuning in to our weekly videos talking about the hidden epidemic of iron deficiency. This video is just to answer some of the questions that you've sent me about our last video on policies that we can use to prevent iron deficiency. So let's get into it. First question is, what is the primary role of policy in preventing iodine deficiency? Policy offers a structured approach to guide, regulate, and ensure that prevention efforts for iodine deficiency are in place. For instance, many countries have laws mandating the iodization of salt. By setting legal standards, governments can ensure that public health goals are met. Check out more information about policies on the World Health Organization website. The link of that is in the description below. How have governments and organizations intervened to address the iodine epidemic? That's a great question. So they've introduced various strategies such as the salt iodization program, public awareness campaigns, and the fortification of other food items with iodine. For example, India launched the National Iodine Deficiency Disorders Control Program to address this issue. Check out more about the program. The link of that is in the description below. Why is consistent monitoring and adjustment necessary for an iodine deficiency prevention program? To ensure that initiatives remain effective, consistent monitoring is key. For instance, the Philippines monitors salt quality regularly to ensure iodine levels comply with standards. To learn more about the Philippines experience, link of that in the description below. What role can individuals play in combating iodine deficiency? Individuals can lobby for effective policies, supporting NGOs working in this area, and ensure that their dietary choices are sound. Iodine Global Network is an excellent platform for advocacy and information. The link for that is in the description below. Why is it vital for policymakers to prioritize the issue of iodine deficiency? Apart from the health implications, addressing iodine deficiency can actually lead to economic benefits. Proper iodine levels can improve productivity and cognitive abilities. Countries like Thailand have seen an improvement in national IQ scores after addressing population iodine deficiency. How can one spread awareness about the iodine deficiency epidemic? Social media campaigns, school programs, and community workshops can be effective approaches. Organizations like the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition offers resources for this. The link of that in the description below. What is the ultimate goal when it comes to addressing iodine deficiency? I'm glad you asked that and this is the perfect way to end off our series on iodine deficiency. The goal is the global eradication of iodine deficiency disorders by ensuring that everyone has access to the necessary dietary iodine leading to improved public health outcomes worldwide. Thanks for watching. My name is Ramir Majid. I'm from The Methodologist. If you found this Q&A helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until the next Q&A and next video, take care.